Well, the invention of a machine that removes pumpkin seeds from the shell and sorts them is being celebrated in Cameroon as traders hope to boost production of the commodity in the Central African country. Maria Madialo reports. For these two traders who've been selling pumpkin seeds, Peeling them can be time-consuming. It's very difficult to peel because you can peel a five-liter bucket in four days. But when you have nothing to do, you can peel it in two days. It's very difficult. It's a big job doing that. It's not easy for us to get peeled seeds. Now their prayers have been answered. A machine that can not only remove seeds from their shell, but also sort them. The Cameroonian inventor says at first the idea was to make a simple machine that could peel. But as I got into the process, I realized that it was much more complicated than that, and that's why it didn't yet exist. So I changed the approach to a chain approach where every element does a given job. You must have seen, for example, the peeling machine that peels, but then there's a sorting machine that sorts. Basically, he says, in one day, his factory can produce what would take six months for people to do. Someone who peels the seed by hand to produce one kilogram of pumpkin kernels takes one day without the machine. With it, we produce 100 kilograms per day, and we can do more. It's a life-changing process. A professor says. It's first and foremost an income generating activity. In the long run, of course, it will seriously boost production. Oil remains Cameroon's main export commodity, but the government, which has held power since 1982, has taken recommendations from the IMF and the World Bank since the 1990s to embrace programs designed to increase efficiency in agriculture and improve trade. Maria Madialo, VOA News. A musical festival in the Democratic Republic of Congo's eastern region is seeking to change the narrative of a country marred by conflict and give hope to residents. Every year, thousands of people from across the African Great Lakes region attend the Amani Festival in Goma with the underlying message of peace as the meaning of its name implies. Take a look. In a neighborhood in Goma, the capital of Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo's North Kiva province, singer Ira Irene and her two brothers rehearse at home ahead of the performance of the annual Amani Festival. The event and its fifth edition attracts thousands of music fans and young artists from across the Great Lakes region. Aira and her brothers are among five groups representing Goma who had the opportunity to display their talents. The Amani Festival is a big deal to me because it gives me lots of opportunities. My folks were nervous for me because this is my first time that I'll be performing on the Amani Festival stage. Amani, which means peace in Swahili, is the main message of the festival. This year's theme is Dancing for Peace, singing for peace in the eastern parts of the country that has embroiled in armed conflict for more than two decades. The country has been grappling with a fresh surge of unrest since President Joseph Kabila refused to step down at the end of his mandate in December 2016. Several rebel groups have been emboldened by his decision, leading to fears that the vast, mineral-rich country may be sliding back into civil war. Although the festival's main aim is to get a tone for reconciliation and promote peace in the region, many Goma residents were skeptical about how much the festival can achieve as the region continues to grapple with insecurity. 
There is a lack of concentration shown to the residents of Goma. Some people do not want peace because some are benefiting from the insecurity in the city. So we want to see durable peace in Congo. In the last two years, persistent conflict in Congo's eastern borderlands with Uganda, Rwanda and Burundi, an insurrection in the center of the country, have displaced 4.3 million people internally. Despite the current political crisis, Amani organizers say the festival can at least show a different side of Goma, one that offers hope. According to organizers, the festival attracts over 30,000 people. Some of Congo's top artists like Fer, Gola, Jupiter and his band Okwese also performed at the festival alongside artists from Burundi, Rwanda and Uganda as well as a traditional trip of dancers from Congo. Now to the north of the continent, an Egyptian startup is designing video games in which the object is not just win, but to become aware of social issues. Faith Lapidus reports. You've got to focus to play a video game, which makes it a great platform for raising social awareness. And that's what the Egyptian startup Castling Studios is trying to do. One of its games, called Bara'a, or innocence, was created to educate people about female genital mutilation. It targets young girls in villages, and in the game, the player helps a girl escape a hospital and break walls, representing society's misconceptions. The eight company founders, who all studied game development at Cairo's Information Technology Institute, say they bring local sensibility to their work. We are trying to offer something new because when the West develops games, even on the Middle East or the Egyptian culture, they do so from their own perspective. But when we develop the games, we make them better because we know more about the experiences we have lived through and continue to see the wrong practices happening and we know what the right things are. Another game created by the company called Hire Me, Thank You, helps manual workers learn communication skills for interviews. The story revolves around what someone should be doing before leaving for work, and user response has been positive. When people see it, they are amazed that we are creating games addressing these issues, and they are really entertained by the game itself. They say it is fun and that they are waiting to see how the game ends and solves the issue. The developers have created more than seven games, most still in the prototype phase. They'll eventually be released for free. I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News. Well, that's our show for today. Now be sure to watch Africa 54 on our, at the VOA website at voaafrica.com. You can find all our shows there, along with all the world's biggest news stories. I'm Vincent McCorry in Washington. Chamberlain also has our last word from Lagos. Well, thanks, Vincent. We certainly look forward to bringing you another show next week. Well, Channel TV is your source of news, sports, and other programming. I'm Chamberlain Lusso. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.